Ready? Yeah. Imagine if you were the boss. It's insane. Of all your family's money. Oh, I'm loving this. You could buy whatever you wanted. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one. Whenever you wanted. That is gorgeous. Without having to ask your parents. Went shopping, got swimmers, got myself a new shirt. For a whole month. Seven. I think it was over $200. Hi. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? Whew. This is the beginning of a dictatorship. Vasanth is a 13-year-old with a passion for scooters. I love scooters. If everyone lived in my utopia, everyone would be just riding scooters to work. There would be a skate park within every two kilometres. I mean, who cares about cars? And whenever he has money, he heads straight for the scooter store. Look at that, look at that. What would you like to buy? All of this, man. It's like scooter heaven. I just want to grab everything and run out the door. Oh, I've always wanted to try the Prodigy 6. 299 to 300. His other weakness is cookies. And if he can combine both passions into one outing, all the better. I love to just scoot down to my local shop and um, buy cookies, lollies, chocolates, biscuits, whatever's there, really. Thank you. Wasn't tends to spend his money in a silly way, I would say. It's, it's the habit that I, I'm concerned about. So what would happen if Vasant was put in charge of the family budget? My name's Eddie Wu. I love to teach people all there is to know about numbers. And I'm about to make Vasant a real-life teenage boss. Vasanth comes from a family of high achievers. Safia, my mom, she works as a high school teacher. Sean, my dad, he works as a bank manager. Arnith, my eldest brother, he's applying for a law degree. And Jant, my middle brother, just entered uni. I'm in year eight in high school and I love to do sports and uh, outdoor activities. The things that I would dream of spending money on if I had the chance would be customizing my scooter. I would love to get a new brake, a new grip tape and new handlebars maybe, uh, scooter wheels or just accessories, or anything really. Affording his dream scooter might not be that easy. Banker Dad has tightened the reins on his spending. He needs to realise why he sometimes don't get everything that he wants. Vasanth is a teenager who knows exactly what he wants. What he lacks is the financial freedom to make it happen. Mum and Dad only give him money when he needs it. So what will happen when he gets his hands on the family budget? This stash of cash. Sathya. Hi. Hi, you must be Vasanth's mum. Yes, I'm yes. Eddie. How Hi. are you going? Yeah, Vasanth? Hi, Eddie. How are oh, you? Hi, Eddie. Pretty good. Fantastic. Now, I've got something exciting in this case. Can oh, we come okay. in so I can show you? Sure. Please come through. Thank you. Please come through. Okay, thanks for being here, guys, and being a part of this. I'd love to get you guys' perspective on what you think of your little brother and what kind of a manager of money he is. He collects all the spare coins around the house and he keeps them and he saves them. You know, so um, his money management is a lot different to mine. Okay, sure. Yeah, what about Janth? What's your perspective on... Well, um, Vasant always likes to um, buy cookies from the shop on the way home. Uh, obviously, I'm not monitoring him 24-7, so no one can really tell what he does. Right, okay. <laughs> Just sort of floats under the radar. Yeah. So, how do you feel you would go if you had to make the decisions for the family's budget? Um... I reckon I can do an all right job. Okay, sure. So, in this case, is the family's budget for an entire month. What your family spends is $3,850. One month. That's a lot of money, right? What's going through your mind? Wow. <laughs> for Santa, this is obviously a big deal. So I'm going to leave you now just to have a chat with your family. Yeah. I'll be in touch with you soon. We can sit down and make a plan. All right? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. No worries, guys. See you Thanks. soon. Thanks. Thank you. Wow, wasn't. You feel empowered. Yeah, but I feel, I feel quite scared too. You look a bit stressed out, to be yeah. honest. I'm just concerned if the lights are going to be on for the next month or not. That's what I'm concerned about. <laughs>
Vasant's a character who sort of takes respo- his responsibilities seriously and he's feeling really proud right now, I can see. Oh, I'm quite nervous. Uh, I'm quite stunned too, but I'm very excited. How do we even spend that much every month? Yeah, we go Open it up. up. Oh, no. oh, wow. That's a it's, lot of money. It's a lot of money, isn't it? So, so many frozen cokes. I know, right? That's a lot of responsibility for your family, huh? I know, right? I don't know what they're going to do once we go bankrupt. <laughs> if you do have some money left, yeah. what are you going to do with it? The only thing that I have in mind is uh, right now is um, upgrading my scooter. <laughs> so you're going to customize the scooter instead of buying a new one? Or? No, no, customize it. I just feel empowered. I feel like I'm on the highest horse anyone could ever sit on. I feel like I'm the only one here. It's just me and my money. It's my job to bring Vasant back down to earth and run him through the family's budget. But now it's the moment where things are going to get a bit serious because I think you must know that that's so much money, there must be a lot of things that your family has to buy and has to pay for, right? So I'm going to show you what some of them are. So I run Vasant through the day-to-day costs that he'll be responsible for. These include food, clothing and entertainment. Now, this is, if you like, sort of like your little playground. You can choose however you want to use it. I'm going to give you some time to have a think about this and to come up with your own plan. Yeah. All right, Vasant, good luck, and I'll be nearby. Just call out if you need some help. Yeah. All right, cheers. Figuring out the family's budget can be a challenge. The home maintenance, probably 75. But when your dad's a banker, the pressure's really on. I just want to see the figures and see what his allocations are, uh, wh- wh- what he's going to spend on and what he's not going to spend on. That's what I love to see. Food and groceries and alcohol, 135. This will let us know whether he values what we value and whether he values the idea that I would like a massage or not, whether he thinks I'm being a spendthrift there or not. Hairdressing, 100. Mm, yeah, that's reasonable. I just got to be as nice as I can to Vasan, sugar him up so, you know, I get that little bit of extra money. That's a good question. Really at, at the mercy of Vasan, hoping that he um, does the best for the family. So there you go. I think I'm done. Well, I'm honestly trying to save just a bit of money and um, let's just say not everyone gets fair pocket money. Hi guys. Um... Hi, Vasan. Hello. Hey, Aaron, thanks for Hi. waiting for Hi. us. Really appreciate your patience. And Shana, it's so great for you to join us back from work. Thank you for coming. As you all know, um, Vasan's been putting a lot of effort into the new family budget. And he's made a few changes. Vasan, I think I'm going to hand it over to you to talk us through the numbers. Thank you, Eddie. Things that um, may concern you have been listed very carefully. Okay. Okay. Our home maintenance, you guys used to pay per month $100. Now we're paying $75. I thought, and now this is where it starts. Food, groceries and drinks have been $1,400 monthly. I've changed it to $1,350. For eating out and takeaway, you guys pay um, $400 every month. And I've cut that down to $350. May I stop you there? Make, yeah. I hope you've done your homework there. Okay. Because, um, you know, I won't be able to cook every day. Two days a week, I'm not at home to cook. So, if that's well, the case... We spend quite a bit of money on takeaway. And, and Jayanth loves the takeaway food. Have you how thought you about it? Yeah, how do you yes, think I have. We have um, three other eligible adults to cook food for me and the family. You think we're going to do our own? <laughs> yeah. I do like my takeaway and eating out, so, mm-hmm. you know, I think that's a little worrying for me. OK. That's probably my biggest fear right now for the month. Entertainment, which is like movies, outings, all that, you guys used to pay $500, so now we pay 450 for every month. You know, Anand, for his mate's birthday last week, he went and spent $200 on one day. Well, I think that is preposterous and um, he should try and maybe save a bit. You're going to educate him? Yes. All right, OK. I think my partying, my social life will take a big hit. 
I'm gonna try and cope, but um, a lot of negotiation may take place. Well, uh, after all this cutting back on a little bit of here, a little bit of there, I have saved $195. Wow. wow that's a lot. What are you going to do with that? One of the particular accessories for my scooter may be expensive. And what accessory is that that you're particularly eyeing? Um, a brake, because my current one is quite small and, um, well, you need a brake on a scooter. OK. It's going to be an interesting month. I mean, it could be challenging. If it's challenging, it's going to be a hard negotiation, let me tell you that. Because he's a hard negotiator. <laughs> His brothers are bracing for a bumpy ride. You know, asking him for every single cent that we're going to have to spend is going to be very interesting. So from getting my morning coffee down at the bakery to uh, buying a new pair of shoes, I'm going to have to ask him for all of that. Well, I don't think the family is a bit too happy about some things, other things they are OK about. But um, if anyone causes me any trouble, don't worry. I'll set them straight. Because now I'm the boss and everything is mine. Vasanth has set himself some pretty high goals, and the grocery shop is his first opportunity to prove he can save. I'm planning to spend about $100 at maximum, so it shouldn't be too hard to keep on budget. And um, I think the food that we're going to buy will last me about five days. So I don't think it's going to be tough for everyone eats according to plan. Vasanth has brought his best friend Kai along to lend a hand. Free trolley. Yep. Let's go for the fridge area. From the get-go, Vasanth is out to save every cent. Why is the butter so expensive? How much is it? It's like four bucks, man. No, we can't get table spread. Which one do you prefer? Wait, 99 cents. Oh. Table spread it is. Woo, made a save. Let's get some block cheese. The plan is getting all the specials. Wait, let's see, one kilogram, 500. And um, also only getting value packs. One kg value. I have to be strict and I have to be cunning and I have to be very sly. Where is the broccoli? 450. Well, I like my broccoli. You mean cauliflower? Oh, this is silly me. Yeah. Oh, the broccoli is over there. I'm gonna get the biggest one. 550 per kilo, man, that's too expensive. I think we'll sacrifice broccoli. Bye, broccoli. So broccoli is too expensive. Back up, oh, back up, back up, back up. Now, quickly, quickly. There's cookies here. But there seems to be some wiggle room for cookies. You know cookies. What about the healthy snack? Yeah, I love peanut cookies. But Jum, at this rate, I don't think I'm going to go over the 100. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Thank you. That'll be $42.05. Uh-huh. Wow, very cheap. Much less than 100. You can smell the savings. As the prices were going up, I felt really, really good about myself. And when it, when it ticked 42, I, just, I had excitement coursing through my veins. Sticking to his list has been a cost-cutting success. But what will his family make of it? Hi, Ma. Hi, darling. You first shopping, eh? Yeah, first shopping. You want me to Quite help you with it? Oh, no, it's OK. Well, I forgot the name. Cauliflower? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it's it was pretty yolk. cheap. Right. And Cookies. Right. Some cooking oils. Yes. Hand soaps, thickened cream. I got some peanut cookies too. Oh, more cookies, okay. Um, the bottle was very expensive, and I saw we have a little bit left, so I just bought this. Margarine or something, is it? Nope, it's table spread. Table spread, okay. He bought so little. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to make this stretch for a whole week for breakfast, lunch and dinner for five people. Does he expect me to run the family's breakfast, lunch and dinner with love and fresh air? I don't know. This won't last us even for half a week. This will be gone in one day. 
Yeah. From the looks of things, it looks like we're going to starve. I didn't really get all those needs and necessities, according to my mom. Apparently, I need to plan out what's for lunch and what's for dinner. But it's okay, it's my first shot, and um, I'm learning, I'm learning. It's a progressive step, very progressive. The next morning, Vasant is still not feeling the love. Um, so it's just a regular day at breakfast. Aunt, what are your thoughts on my shop? Looks like great. You bought margarine instead of butter. So once this butter runs out, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Jeff, what are your thoughts? Oh, I have the same feelings about the margarine because I do not like it. Therefore, I'm eating cereal so Aunt can enjoy his toast with the leftover butter. I feel like these guys are being a bit not understanding, if you know what I mean, and being very mean. And um, I think that's our family, wrapped up in one small video. And things don't get any easier for Vasanth. On day five, Mum sneaks in a $75 shopping trip. I thought this would be good for our house. Oh, but we already have a mat. That won't go wasted. We can always use it for the back door. And there's more to come. We need to buy some potting mix. Potting mix? Why do we need to buy potting mix? We received some vegetable plants like eggplant and chilli. If we don't plant it straight away, they're going to die. I guess. $40 of potting mix later, the plants are happy. But Mum needs more. She spent so much money on potting mix already before, so now this is just going way overboard. $7 per bag. I just need two bags. It's not a bad price. I was shopping around the other day and it's a bit more dear at the other places. That child is so tough. I had to shop around to see where I could find the cheapest one. I've never done this before. Oh, thank you. Can I then have three? No, no, no. <laughs> Please. Please. Fine. He didn't let me want to buy it straight away. He made it a bit hard for me. I had to beg him. Thank you, darling. My mom blew the home maintenance budget. And now I'm thinking that nothing from now on can be bought for the home maintenance budget. So I need my savings to buy my stuff. You know, the scooter stuff. The scooter brake in particular. Here you go. This is today's um, shopping. Invoice? Not even Dad escapes Vasant's watchful eye. Seventy dollars. What did you buy? Well, I have to buy stuff that needs to refill the fridge. But his brothers proved to need the most monitoring. What's this? We've uh, decided to buy concert tickets. How much is it? Two tickets, two hundred and twenty-one dollars and ninety-eight cents. Mm, that's a lot of money. Okay, seems like you guys are only gonna get one outing. It's not every day that 50 Cent comes to Sydney and performs. Let me remind you there's only $200 left and, um, yeah, everyone else needs the money too. Jant and I do feel a little bad by taking the lion's share, but um, I guess we'll just have to manage for the rest of the month. We thought of it as a challenge for you, you know? Challenge? Yeah, yeah. presenting you with a challenge with your budget. My brothers now are being a bit uh, catastrophic to my um, budget plan. So it's $221 just for two tickets, general admission. Trust me, money goes away like this in this house. Honestly, don't know what I'm going to do with this family. We're going to be broke. Oh, uh, well, what do we have here? I went and bought some takeaway food because there was nothing to eat at home. Two weeks into the experiment, Vasant's savings take another hit. $30. When the family splash out on nights of unscheduled takeaways. Delicious. Saying it's delicious? I think he's beginning to realise that controlling the budget means controlling his family. Hey. Hey, Vasant. Great to see you, man. How are you going? And he calls me up for some advice. What do I do if someone steps out of line? Yeah, okay, great question. Uh, this is one of those situations where being the boss isn't just as simple as telling people what to do. Uh, it is tricky. I would suggest that you go to the rest of your family, speak with them first and reason with them. But if you have to make a hard call as the boss in control of the budget, it's up to you. Okay, okay. I understand. 
So good job. I'll see you really, really soon. And then we can close off this entire experiment and see how you've gone. Thank you, Eddie. How much more, Mum? Vasanth takes my advice and persuades his family to cut back on takeout. And that means Jayanth needs to get the lowdown on home cooking. Do I have to cut every single carrot? Yeah. I honestly didn't expect to actually cook, but I guess it's come to this. See how it is? Easy it is? Aww. Just as easy as he dropped the eggshells in the egg. Thinking how my mum's going to think that, oh, I can do this on a regular basis, and then uh, I reckon now my takeaway option is going to be um, seriously cut down. How does it taste? Surprisingly very nice. I didn't think I can actually cook. These are very tough measures, but we saved a lot of money. I'm one step closer to getting all of my scooter accessories and brake. With a week to go, Vasanth takes his takeaway crack down to the next level. I've had the greatest idea for my budget. My idea is buying pizza bases. I know what you think. It's, oh, it's okay, it's not a great idea, but it's cheaper. It's healthier, and it's way more efficient for my brother. Go take the first slice. Yeah, I'll just take a piece. Jen, so would you rate this pizza to be a better pizza than what you do normally from the takeaway? I mean, I can't lie, so I'm going to say that's still better. But, you know, this competes with it. And, you know, it has all the bold flavours, the capsicum, the, the olives, the mushrooms. Thank you for the honest comment. We can always improve on this, you know? Vasant's banker dad is intrigued to know if the cost cutting is having any effect. So, have you have you done anything about the other other expenses? What do you mean by that? Well, such as your entertainment expenses. I'm just wondering, are you, are you sort of staying within the budget in that area? Yeah. In fact, we still have quite a bit of entertainment money left, but that is because Anand and Jim have been listening to me and not going out lately. Looks like we have to maintain this, this behaviour and culture to save more and more money. He wants to achieve that $200 savings that he originally thought he was going to have at the end of the month. I wouldn't be surprised if he does that. And I think that's what he's going to take as, as a credit for running the show for us for the, for the four weeks. With just two days to go, Vasant is hit with another unexpected expense. Well, my mum has been a bit sick and she's gone to the pharmacy a few times and she's just handed me a massive, massive, massive receipt. There she is. Hello, mommy. Hi, darling. Why are you videoing <coughs> me now? Because I love you and you're sick and everyone needs to know the pain that you're suffering. Mm -hmm. I'll be all right soon. I just need to take the medication out before. Promise? Yeah. You know your medication is costing me a lot. Mm hmm It's okay. I'll do anything for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. I'll do anything to make her feel better, even if I blow the entire budget. Are you yeah. so careful? Maybe you should do the budget for the whole rest of the year. I wouldn't mind that. Mm. Okay, you can you go eat your breakfast now. I'm hungry. Vasanth has been through some ups and downs this month. For a 13-year-old, he's tackled all the challenges of the budget head on. He's even done some creative accounting. But now it's time to see how the numbers really stack up. All right, everyone, you've survived a month. Congratulations for getting this far. Thank now, you. we're here to find out how Vasanth has gone as the boss. But before we reveal everything, I do want to know, Vasanth, have there been any things you've particularly learned that have surprised you this month or have been interesting to you? Really, there's nothing much that changed other than my attitude towards everyone. Hmm. If they spend too much, very bad people. <laughs> OK, well, I I'm what? glad to hear that you, know, you stayed on top of things. Do you want to start talking us through what actually happened for each of the aspects of the budget? I would love to. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Home maintenance, I changed it to $75 per month, but some people spent $130. Parkings and tolls. Uh, it was $30 per month, but we spent $75. Food and groceries, 
They put it to $1,350 per month. But we spent $1,077. Wow, we've so done we did very well. There you go. So all of those home-cooked meals, yeah. I'm sure, contributed? I was going to comment on the same thing. So. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Entertainment, which is like the movies and outings. Remember you guys bought the concert ticket and after that I told you you can't go anywhere else for the rest of the month? Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that actually saved us $265 this wow. month. Wow, wow. That's a good job, Jay and Vasan. You can keep the budget control from now yeah. on. <laughs> I was a bit scared to ask him about, you know, the smaller, smaller things, but, you know, I, I managed and, you know, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't all bad. Now, medical, like the chemist purchases and everything, we usually spend around $100, but because you fell sick, we used $279 this month. Wow. That's uh, almost 179 yeah. over the yeah. budget, is it? Yeah. I think this is one of the only things that I put the price up for, because, yeah. well, right, when my family needs it, I have to give it. It's medication. Wow. Very considerate. Yeah. When I was sick, he didn't say a word. He was more concerned about me getting better. So I'm quite proud of him. So, I think it's time to reveal whether or not Vasanth saved anything. Absolutely. Ready? Here we go. Right. Can't wait. Right now, at the end of Vasanth being a boss for the month, you've got... Save. $889. Oh, what? Oh my god. I couldn't believe my eyes. I still, for a few minutes, thought that they had counted the money wrong because... <laughs> how? How? What's that? Vasanth is... Preemptively taken a little cut out of that big saving. And do you want to explain what that is, Fasan? Well, that is my um, scooter brake here, and that is my scooter bar. Okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> so, Excuse me? after that's been taken out, a little bit less than 889 in cash, but still pretty impressive saving. Wow. Absolutely. That, that, that really surprises me because uh, some of the things that the way that we've overrun the budget, oh, yeah. but uh, it's a pleasant surprise, may I say. He's done a good job, you know. Maybe uh, we should leave it to him. It's so spot on. What do you want to do with everything you saved? Well, I'm planning to allocate the money towards my braces. Okay. Well, well, Seems well, like well. a bit of a surprise. You have beautiful teeth. Oh, I know, I'm beautiful either way, but my teeth need fixing. Braces were a good touch, though. You know, something sensible so, with this. Sensible, yeah. yeah. So that's why I was a bit surprised, yeah. All the best, guys. Thank you for the experience as well. I couldn't be more proud of Basant, uh, what he has delivered. For a kid uh, of his age, he's done a great job. Yeah, but he was a tough master. Yeah. Now I've just handed over the reins for being boss, and the thing is, I don't want to hand it over. I want to do this. It's very, very fun, and it taught me a lot. I think this is the last, one of the last times I'm seeing you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>